spinach, artichoke, dip. We are making that classic party favorite today, spinach artichoke dip, except we're doing it a million times healthier. None of that oil and dairy and all that garbage in there. This one you can eat, enjoy, and feel well after. Let's do it right now. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. You know I like to make the healthy version of all of these party favorites that we're used to getting sick off of, but we're making a really fantastic version today of the spinach artichoke dip. It's another one in our series of finger foods videos. Oh, how is that a finger food? It's a dip. Don't worry, wait till the end. We're gonna show you a whole bunch of ways to make this dip into a tasty finger food that you can take to the parties and the picnics and all the summer things that you're enjoying right now, or at least getting real darn close to it. My favorite thing about this recipe is it is so simple. We're using a bag of frozen artichokes from Trader Joe's and some plain old cut leaf spinach, frozen spinach, and boom. Put them together and you've got yourself a dip. The recipe, by the way, is down below. Reed's made a beautiful little blog post with all the recipe. I have just taken a bag of spinach. I cut the top off and we're gonna throw it into the steamer just like that. Get it all in there. And we're gonna steam this baby for just a few minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, doesn't really matter. Spinach, <laughs> hell yeah. Try to thaw this stuff out before, you know what I mean? It is a bag of frozen artichokes. We're gonna be pulsing them in the food processor. So try to, to thaw them but if you forget the last couple of minutes of your spinach you could just open this bag of frozen artichokes throw it in there with it and they'll be steamed you can't do that then the spinach and artichokes are mixed together correct don't do it you could steam these separately from the spinach or you could microwave them or something you know you don't have this doesn't require a lot of premeditation to make this recipe so don't worry very simple if you're brand new to cooking welcome in hell yeah hell yeah well that spinach is steaming over there on the stove let's prep the rest of this thing it's so easy we'll be ready for that spinach that much the no. whole half no not the whole half this part half of the half okay about a third it's gonna be about a third <laughs> of a small red onion throw it in there then along with the red onion we've got one can this is just the regular like 14 15 ounce can of garbanzo beans I've rinsed them to get any well ours didn't have any salt to begin with but if yours has any salt rinse it off as best you can throw those in we don't need the aquafaba or anything like that next we've got a bag of these Trader Joe's frozen artichokes they are single ingredient artichoke hearts they're so good we use them in a lot of different dishes it's the only ones I can find that aren't totally salty or else like in oily briny weird stuff just artichoke throw them in boom if you can't find these frozen artichokes from Trader Joe's just get the canned ones they'll only have salt hopefully and you can just rinse them really well and throw them in no big deal we're gonna throw in the juice of a lemon cut a lemon in half and give it a good squeeze in. Ooh, this is a nice juicy lemon. I like this lemon. Couple more things to throw in, y'all. We've got some nutritional yeast. Get that Well Your World non-fortified nutritional yeast on the website. Mm -mm -mm. Spread that around. Then we got some cheater minced garlic. Mmm, gotta have that garlic. You could use garlic powder if you don't have the minced stuff. A few cloves of whole garlic. And that was some chili powder that I just threw in there. That's optional. I like it with just a little bit of bite. Nothing too crazy. And let's fire this baby up and we'll scrape the sides as we go just to get it real nice and smooth. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Also, this is the Trader Joe's soy milk. I love this. They just raised the price on it. Now it's a little bit more than two bucks instead of a little bit less than two bucks, but it's still well worth it. I love this soy milk, just soybeans and water. Pour a little bit in, just go a little bit at a time. You don't wanna turn this too, too wet, but it's hard to say exactly how much milk with this kind of recipe. We're just gonna keep it going, get real nice and creamy. In your food processor, this could go for a couple of minutes without getting uh, into any kind of trouble. And it was just a few tablespoons of the soy milk that I put in. Don't overdo it, just take it easy. Let's check that spinach, Reeves. Oh, that spinach is looking good. I think it's ready. We'll kill the heat and we'll tend to that in just a minute when our food processor is all done blending. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. I wanna give this just a little bit of black pepper. I don't know if that's traditional or not, but we're already breaking tradition by making this dip actually healthy. So I put in a little bit of black pepper, you decide. Oh, I think we're looking real good. Are we ready to get that spinach going, Reeves? Heck yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, this is the fun part, Reebs. What's that thing called again? Shinwang? <laughs> Shinwa. Shinwa. Okay. I told you not to use the Shinwa. I like the Shinwa. I never get to use this thing. I am definitely using the Shinwa. You could just use your hands or let it cool or you know this and that, but I, you can't get it as dry, and you don't want it. You want this to stay nice and creamy. You don't want it to turn into a liquidy dip. So I'm using the Shinwa. We're getting fancy with it. Just gonna throw all of our spinach. In here. I love cooking the frozen spinach. I don't know why. It's just as easy to throw the fresh stuff in a pan. Oh, I think the frozen stuff's way better for this. The texture, I mean, at least you have to steam it if you're gonna use the fresh stuff. But the frozen is so good. And I know you can just push this with your hand. You don't need to get fancy, but look how much liquid is coming out. And you can't do this with a bare hand right now because it is just too hot. Look at that. Squeeze it. We want this spinach to give us a nice texture to this dip. And look at how much liquid squeezes out. That is a lot. That, if that got into your dip, it would be a problem, and you are not gonna get all of that out just by hand, in my opinion. But what do I know, I'm not a chef. Toss in our spinach. You can spread it around a little if you don't want it to be in one big monster clump, because we just wanna pulse this a few times. We do not wanna turn this into a green hummus. We want it to be a spinach artichoke dip. We'll just pulse it a couple of times, but yeah, you can definitely just mix by hand. It will be chunkier, though. See how the spinach has a nice texture? You don't want this to be just like totally homogenized. And this is why that steamed from frozen spinach is really good. Does that have the texture you want, Reeves, or should I pulse it anymore? No, that's perfect. Okay. It doesn't take much. This dip is looking so good. By the way, if you wanted to add a little bit of salt to this, one way you could do it is maybe with a couple teaspoons or a tablespoon of miso paste in the first step of the food processing. But I don't usually do it because this is a really delicious dip. There you go, served. It's time to try a little bit of this dip just like that. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so good. No added salt, oil, sugar. This is really, really good. I love the garlicky, the oniony, and the artichoke flavor is so good. And the spinach texture and everything is just perfect. And yes, I think this would be really good heated up too if you wanted to put it in the corningware and throw it in the breville for a few minutes. You wanna get a taste in here? No, I don't wanna get a taste. I'm waiting for Biteville. Well, how are we gonna do Biteville? Why don't you try making some Cucumber rounds. You got it. Should we shave that a little bit? Yeah, do the every other stripey shave. He wants the every other stripey shave. You got a lot of green happening right here. You know I got a lot of green. You gotta get that folate. Another thing that I often see is this really? kind of texture with no. the. I've never seen with that. The, oh yeah, they used to do this in Costa Rica when I lived there. I'm not making that up. Anyway, okay, let's make our rounds. Oh, like you that. know what would be cute? Mm. A tiny cherry tomato on top. Here's what I'm gonna do. We'll half that and we're gonna quarter it. Cause that's a big cherry tomato. Oh my God. There we go, there we go. We are plated and ready to drop on some delicious tomato bites. Finger food, what do you think? That looks good to me, how about a taste? That's pretty easy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, here's the next test. Take some mini sweet peppers, cut them in half, and stuff the insides. We promised finger food, and we are delivering. Am I wrong? You are not wrong today, Reebs. All this work you got me doing, why don't you come over here and do a little stuffing yourself? I'll hold the camera. Look at you, chop until you drop. So you're gonna stuff some celery for us. How's that? How's that for a bite? Mm. What if you just did like one real long one? Do you think people would think that you're a little crazy? Yeah, you're gonna have just a tray of a huge stock of celery stuffed with dip. Then Would we'll... you present this to somebody? Right, but if you can eat the whole thing, I'd be convinced that it's a possibility. Okay, so that one looks good. <laughs> <laughs> You're weird. Here's another idea Reeves just gave me. Check this out, y'all. We've got some of these Ezekiel tortillas. Can anyone say pinwheels? Get that dip in there. Am I doing this right? Do you put the dip all over the whole thing? What, I'm just gonna roll it like a burrito? Or like a, like a pinwheel? I roll it like a pinwheel. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. Cut this baby into pins and wheels. Cut them carefully, don't squash them. There you have a nice little pinwheel. These would be great for a little lunch. You can make little artichoke dip sandwiches. Mmm, take them to camp. You can go camping, events, you wanna go to the Renaissance Fair. That's what we like to do. Leave the Renaissance Fair, go get your own lunch in the car, and then go back in. That's what we do at Six Flags, too. Save money and your health. I saw this next one on Bar Rescue. What if you just put them in like individual single use spoons? <laughs> And then you could just present it like that. Oh at my your next gosh, y'all, she's trying to chef it. What am I just gonna eat a spoonful of spinach artichoke dip with no nothing to dip it with? Yeah. Hi, welcome in. I have a spinach artichoke dip spoon for you to enjoy. No. <laughs> and then someone's just like, oh great. It's like, mm-hmm. Gross. Mm -hmm. 
interesting take on a finger food. I have not, except that I saw you bite double dip at least <laughs> a couple times. Did we give enough ideas? I can come up with more really good ones. I hope you like my spinach artichoke dip. It is so simple and easy to throw together and so delicious. If you want to get the recipe, be sure to click below for the blog and click here for a playlist of more finger foods just like this one. Bye.